I already said keep, keep them a little bit close is an economic crime against St. Martin. Mm. So what what do you, what would you suggest now to reverse or, or recover ah, from that? We got a golden opportunity. Mm. We had two things happen at the same time. What was the two things? We obtained a report from the central bank with an appraisal of the value of Mullet Bay by one of the world's most reputable real estate appraisal firms. And they appraised Mullet Bay at $48 million. So now we know what Mullet Bay is valued as it is. But you know, a lot of people kind of question that, that appraisal. They could question it, but all they have to do is bring a more reputable, don't question it, mm -hmm. bring a more reputable appraisal firm than the one that the central bank employed and let them appraise it. Tell them, here, here's my appraisal, it says X. So all I can do is go with the information that we have. Mm. And when I read what the central bank said about the company, the central bank said this is one of the world's most reputable real estate appraisal firms, and this is the value they attach to it. So that's one good thing we have. Right. Number two, we have this uh, trust fund money from the World Bank sloshing around over there somewhere. And what I'm hoping to be able to get done is that that money from the World Bank be used to repurchase Mother Bay, rebuild it, get the economy going, and generate revenue. Because if we take this World Bank money and we don't have something to generate money to repay it, we head in the direction of Haiti and all the other African countries that complain that the World Bank broke them. Mr. Bryson, that's a good idea, but do you think that uh, Mr. Knops is going to allow that? Well, I'll come to that in a minute. But the point I'm trying to make is this. If you do not use that money for a productive investment, mm -hmm. you will impoverish the country, because then you'll have a huge loan sitting on your shoulders and no cup, nothing generating money to repay this loan. So before you take that kind of money, uh -huh. you have to find a productive means and a way of how you're going to repay this money. Rebuilding roofs, rebuilding infrastructural projects is great. And the World Bank loves to do those kind of projects. And I understand why. They are risk-free. But what they do with all the countries that take them, you always end up poorer because you have to repay a loan and the project you built is not generating not a dime of revenue. 